All right. Ow. Let's just jump in. Well, by jump in, I mean look at these, look at this in practice mode. <laughs> it doesn't really take much to get the bonus, does it? No, I, I don't think it takes much at all. Oof. I can totally see me having to use a bomb here. Or I probably should just use bombs to pick up, pick up everything anyway. Yeah? And then just do that to pick up resources. Is that, is that, is that like the best way to handle that? Just use my resources to get two bomb pieces? I can't tell. Especially since it starts me off at freaking nine lives. Like, should I, like, is, should I just not even bother with, with that section is basically what I'm saying. Like, I can learn to do it. I can probably route it. But is it worth, is it worth my time? There's a gigantic safe spot in the spam section after her title card. A gigantic safe spot? Oh, that sounds good. How? Seems like they're aimed at me. This part looks like I can just do a streaming section. That's easy! Oh, that's that's an easy uh, piece of heart. I'm gonna call them pieces of heart. <laughs> Even though it takes three of them. I could have POC'd there. Let's learn the boss before I go trying to route things. Also, I, I kind of like the smug... The smug, um... Sakia face. Also, I could go into spell practice to figure out, like... Places where I can shotgun. Like, that's probably... I could have done a better job with that, but oh well. Oh, what? How, how did I get hit? Those are some deceptive hitboxes. Where is the hitbox for that? I can't tell. I don't like some of the bullet shapes here. It's very difficult for me to tell. Like, I... Koishi's hearts were really difficult for me to really pinpoint where where the danger is. And I feel the same with these music notes. I don't exactly know what's safe and what's not. Can I do... Oh, you know what? I should look at this in spell practice and then figure it out. Rather than, like, try to figure it out in, like, an actual fight. This game gives you spell practice. I might as well put that to use. Right? So... By the way, the only reason I'm not bombing is because I'm practicing. Realistically, that would have been a bomb. Ooh, that would not have been a bomb. Though. So. Weird. This game has spell practice, I might as well use it. Oh, this character has funny hitboxes, 101. I don't remember the, uh... Wait, that's Marissa. Whoops. When did I pick Marissa? Hello? You should see the smug Shinmi face. Oh, I must not have been paying attention to it. And then slipping through there is easy enough, but then doing this... That's the part I'm not sure about when they crisscross. It's my weakness, the crisscrossing. I need to be- okay, let's- let's go to like- let's get close to like one wave. I think that's what I need to do. So, like, get close to one of the blue waves. As close as possible. Not like that. We want to get close to one of the blue waves. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. We need to get close to one of the blue waves. Like this. And then we can slip through. I think that's what we need to do for that. Realistically, I think a bomb is going to be used there, because that's pretty wild, dude. If I can do a two-cycle on this, I'll be happy. Yeah, so... Let's let's find out if this is aimed. That would also be help useful information. Is it aimed? It would appear so? I'm not so sure. It's hard to tell at this point in time, but I think it's aimed. Yeah, okay, it's aimed. I think it's aimed. So that 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 simplifies this a lot. 
Whoa! Maybe it's not aimed, because that time it was different. Unless I didn't move uh, well enough. I don't know. Maybe it's random. Do you know? Dude, I might have to turn the music off if I'm using Sakya A's thing. Or I should... I mean, the thing is, is that I'm relying on Sakya too much. And I'm going to have to do this with the other t shot types that are not going to do as much damage. So eventually I'm going to have to do, do like, dodge these spells in full anyway. Oh boy. Music off in a toe game? I know, right? But this rhythm is very specific. Or it's not specific. It's just listening to the Toho music while trying to do a rhythm that doesn't line up with the with the music that is playing is I, I, it, it, it messes with me because I want to do it in time with the music, but it's that's not it. It's not. It doesn't go with the music. That I don't like that pattern. That that pattern. Uh, it, it it's kind of crisscrosses on itself, and like I said, that's my weakness. You usually go along with the blue wave for a bit longer? What do you mean? You go along the blue wave a bit longer. I mean, I just feel like after doing Marissa B and UFO, I can do anything. <laughs> that might be my hubris talking, but I mean, here's the problem. Look at my capture rate. 9 out of 22. Not even a 50% capture rate. And this is in a low stress environment as well. But I'm kind of getting the idea for this pattern. If you, you want to like chase the tails of the uh, of the pattern, if you chase the tails, then uh, you can you dodge a little more like this, and then it's just a matter of weaving through the remnants of the previous pattern while you're chasing the tails. If that makes sense. I think I know enough of that. I think, I think, I, I don't know if I'm going to capture it. I'm probably going to have to bomb through it, but I, I think I've seen enough. Oof. Oh, it's this one where it then, it then gets aimed. Yeah. Oh, but the shot, the Sakia shotgun really shreds bosses. It really does. Like, <laughs> like I didn't even have to put up with almost any of that. Holy crap. Dude, <laughs> that is, that is actually disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. I know that's not going to happen when I use the other shot types, but god damn. <laughs> the thing is, I have to get, I have to get really comfortable with doing this shotgun thing, with doing this thing. Like, I need to be absolutely sure that I can, um, that I can nail the, the dude. Nail the rhythm. But again, the music, it's it, it's such a bop, and I keep bopping my head. I didn't want to do this again, but fine. She's going to shoot me in the face. No, she's not. I have a bit of time. Oh, the curvy lasers. Okay. I mean, I don't really like curvy lasers. The curvy lasers trip me up. So, I mean, maybe this will be worth using a bomb on. What happened to the other lasers? Hello? Some of the lasers didn't spawn. Is that spell broken? <laughs> okay, don't don't let her do that to me. This it requires me to be able to assess exactly where those lasers are gonna go, and oof, that is tough. I have to be able to see the lanes I have to take. Ooh. That's uh, that's scary but yeah probably sh i should expect to use a bomb on this honestly the one cc is coming home regardless with the shot th type i can i definitely feel that way but i don't want to have too much hubris i i well the thing is is that now that i know how to do the sakia a thing proper I should be able to, like, that's going to make a lot of parts easier. Like, if I just learn what spells to use it on, that might just be enough, to be completely honest. Like, learning these stages, I might, I might not even have to do that much. 
That's how I kind of feel about it. Well, I might if I do that, but... <laughs> Uh, bottom hugging here is dangerous. Let me practice this non real quick. Wow! Even even when I wasn't bottom hugging, that was really hard. Is it worth it to bomb if I get a life piece out of it? I think the answer is yes, because it only takes three to get a life. So it's at least worth one bomb. Yes? Yeah, that's what I, I, I that's what I'm thinking. Because a life is worth three bombs, yeah? At least if we're talking about just pure resources. Or no, because a bomb can save you twice. I don't know, with Sakya A anyway. I don't, I don't know. Oh, dude, I have to, I have to be prepared if I want a shotgun. See, this is why I'm kind of glad I decided to do the stage, because, yeah, I was not prepared. Now I have to actually do this, like, proper. I have to remember to actually shotgun her if I want to, uh, if I want to do that. Woo! I really under- like, in spell practice, uh, it's the easiest thing in the world, but actually going from a non- two shotgunning that that transition is like almost impossible to do realistically oh my god and if you don't then this lasts so much longer and it gets hard wow so i have to practice the transitions maybe you should be practicing seija i almost just straight up beat seija first try did i not do i really need to practice her i feel like she's easier than racin <laughs> And Raisin is like one of the easiest final bosses ever. Or easiest stage 5 bosses ever. I feel like Sage is a really easy fight. Dude, why am I Marissa? Why does it why does it automatically put me to Marissa? Oh I know, I can I I mean, okay, if I can get the shotgunning, then that's gonna be, like, easy. Okay, let's not let her step on us, though. Okay, that's good. That's that. That's pretty nice. Unfortunately, that's the mid-spell and not, not an actual fight. But I, again, I, I believe that her actual spells are easy. This is very easy. Like, this is light work. Like, reverse it. You can, you can mess with my control scheme as much as you want. It's not really gonna affect anything. The one that's really tough is, um, the one that really gets me, that was just m me going from focus to unfocus. If I just stay focused, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm getting greedy. I probably shouldn't just try to shred her. I could just sit in the, in the back and just focus on dodging, but I don't play by the rules. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a badass about it, cause again, th this 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 does not affect me. The one that does affect me is when she does it mid spell, you know, when she's when she flips the screen in the middle of the spell. That 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 really screws me up, because she's doing it in the middle of the like you have to adjust on the spot, right? So that 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 one that one's gonna be the one that really that that really gets me yeah i'm gonna just dodge like oh up here because this is pretty that's pretty that's a that's a lot denser and also if you're shredding her with sakia a you don't even have to deal with much of it which is which is a real pity because I, I think it's cool Dude, and her theme is really good too. I like her theme song. Da na 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 da na 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 na. Ooh, it it's it's it, it it hits me in the right places. I might play Super Hexagon one day. Uh oh. Oh wait, no. I could just do this. Oh. 
I got it! I captured it! But this is really easy because I can do- I can definitely do this. I can shred her before the, uh... Before the bullets get to me. This might be her hardest spell. I- I do not look forward to doing that with other shot types. Ugh. Her theme almost lines up with the- with the rhythm. It almost, but it's just slightly off. Ugh. But, yeah, I think we can make that work. I'm, I- I think we can make it work. Now this one. This is the spell that's gonna- If any spell is gonna mess with me, it's gonna be this one. And it's because she's gonna do that. I think the only way to do this is to... Is to prepare it beforehand. So, like... You gotta prepare a path, and then you have to follow it. Right? I think that's the only way to do this. Like, you have to set up a path, because I'm not- my mind is not gonna be able to dodge while going through this. And during the spinning, it's really hard to, like, get your bearings. Once you make the adjustment, it's easy. Like, I don't have any problems being upside down. But it's the fact that I have to adjust in the middle of the bullets. See right there, I wasn't fully adjusted yet. Okay, I think I have I think I have a fundamental understanding of how to do that. That's just gonna it's a little weird, but that is by far the most threatening spell for your brain. But it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm surprised that people struggle with her. I wouldn't... Worst boss fight in the game seems like a huge stretch to me. That's like a... Th we've had way worse bosses. Yomu is a, was, was way worse than that. Like I said. Yomu unapologetically would put you in situations that you just can't save yourself from. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know... I, how could... I don't know how you could possibly defend Yomu and attack Seija. For being like the worst boss fight. I, I I felt like Yomu was way worse. The stage is definitely way worse than that. Maybe that's why people don't like this. They have bad memories of the stage and they blame it on Seija. That's probably what it is. Because this stage is pretty bad. It's got enemies spawning on the bottom of the screen. Which I don't think the game has ever done before. Hey enemies spawning at the bottom of the screen is relatively common in PC98. Really? Oh, all the more reason for me to avoid PC-98. <laughs> oh my god, the explosions make it hard for me to see. Okay, no, 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 that's, that's too scary. The music here is amazing. Oh my god. One of the best soundtracks, in my opinion. Oh no, oh, the crisscrossies of doom, oh my god. No, okay, I definitely want to practice this. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, what am I even supposed to be looking at here? That's the thing I don't understand. Is I don't know what to look at here. It's like a universal pattern, but it's just so... Like, I know it's not random. I, it's, a, it's a static pattern. Of all the static patterns, I cannot handle the... I cannot handle the crisscrossing. How big is the hitbox for that? I really need to know. Should I should I test it? Should I should I test it out? Oh my god, it's the Koishi hearts. Everybody knows how much I like those. Ah, the hitboxes seem pretty forgiving. Like the uh, never mind, that is not forgiving at all. As for the hearts, I don't know. I I I I, I I've never been able to really pinpoint where the heart hitbox is. And I have no reason to believe it's going to be the same in this game, anyway. You know, I actually think this is a really cool idea for a spell. I don't like this, though. I don't know what the strategy is for this. DUDE! That bull- that's why- that's why I could never bomb! Did that look like that bullet touched me? Like, what the heck? <laughs> that bullet it wasn't anywhere near me, dude! Oh my god, I'm just gonna have to bomb when I'm, like, anywhere near the bullet. Like, I- I just- you can't be anywhere close to it. You wanna- you wanna talk about Seija being bad? Well, let's talk about Tsuka- not Tsukasa. Let's talk about Shinmi. 
You grew bigger is atrocious. <laughs> so yeah, tech support. This is what DDC is like. Um, I don't recommend doing this for a good long while. <laughs> Even with Sakia A. Like, Sakia A sure is... Sakia A is probably the best shot type I've had since Marissa B, Mountain of Faith. Not gonna lie. Once you learn how to get max DPS out of her... But it's very specific, the way you get the max DPS. It's not easy to do. I mean, it's easy once you get the hang of it, but you gotta learn it. You gotta practice it. And, uh, yeah, these patterns are no joke. <laughs> Slipping through the outer areas actually seems pretty viable. I'm screwing it up, but I could see myself doing it with, like, does Reimu have a smaller hitbox? She does, yeah. So, with Reimu, I could see myself slipping through here. With the other shot types, I don't know. It's a little spooky. Though every single time I failed, it was not because of my hitbox. It was because I got hit dead center. So, I like I, I like how I bring that up, but... Realistically speaking, is Reimu's hitbox really gonna help? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how bad their bad shots are, but I can see, like, the difficulty of DDC, of these patterns, I would say are comparable to that of Subterranean Animism. They're, they're, they're very comparable, I would say. But Sakia A makes this a l like, Sakia A, it's like, it's like if you had a good shot type in Subterranean Animism. <laughs> Actually, you scratch that. It's like you had Marissa B, Mountain of Faith, in Subtian Animism. That's what it's like. <laughs> but these patterns are definitely tough. I'm not. I cannot. I cannot disagree with you there. These are pretty. These are really tight. There's no like. There's no scummy RNG like UFO had though. So a lot of it is learnable. So I feel like it's gonna be just like Subterranean Animism, where I feel like if you like Subterranean Animism, you'll probably like this game, provided that you're not using the bad shot types. Don't get got. Alright. I mean, I'm gonna capture this once, just so that I can learn what I need to do. But, um... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste my breath on this. Like, there's no... There's no... Consistency to the density of these knives that I have to pass through. Like, they slow down. I don't know, that's... That's very weird. Uh, I I cannot properly analyze that with with the short amount of time I'm gonna be spending here, but we're definitely gonna have to look at that more with the other shot types. There's a trick to it. I just know it. I I just know it. Something about those those bullets slowing down and speeding up. I think there's like an interval you're supposed to meet. It's these balls, dude. Oh, these balls are gonna be the death of me, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, that's the point. That, that is the point of the spell. This one, I think, yeah, I think the idea is you want to misdirect stuff. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to wing it. All right, let's go for the 1cc. Let's see how well we do. This is uh, this, the, the part where Sage kills me. Brought to you by Portal 3. All right. <laughs> 